Shalom and welcome once again to the Rashi Nash. I'm Pastor Matt. And I'm Kara. We are in a Torah portion called Vayachel today. And we have a special heart for teenagers. We've talked about this before. In previous Torah portions and in previous weeks, we have done youth ministry for a long time. And there's just something special to us about, about teenagers. Before we had our own children, we were involved in youth ministry. And when we first started having kids of our own, people would say to us, oh, just wait until they're teenagers. You're not ready for that. And we would say, we're used to teenagers. It's children that we don't have experience with. So it, it's always interesting. Now, why am I bringing up teenagers? Well, let's look at something very special that happens in building the Mishkan or the tabernacle. There were two individuals named Betzalel and Aholiav. And I'll talk specifically about Betzalel this week, although uh, Aholiav, his um, uh, his name has an interesting meaning as well. It's like the tent of my father. But Betzalel is, is interesting. You see, the word tzel means shadow. And when we are told in the scripture that we are made in the image of God, what is actually said there in the Hebrew is that it's the word tzel. We're made in the shadow of God. Now, what does that mean? I've often talked about how in the story of Peter Pan, if you're familiar with that story, he has a mischievous shadow that does not obey him. His shadow does not do the things that his body is doing, which of course we know is impossible. <clears throat> in real life, in reality, it's impossible for your shadow to do something that you are not doing. It's simply a, a reflection of you. Your shadow is connected to what it is that you are doing. So if we are made in the shadow of God, it's not just made in the image like we are like God, but being made in the shadow of God means when he moves, we move. We have a direct connection to him and it is against our nature to do something that he is not doing. And that is why it, it truly is um, against how we were created when we sin, when we do something that God is not doing or that we don't see God doing. This is so beautifully illustrated when our Messiah Yeshua would say things like, I only do what I see my father doing. So why did we talk about teenagers? Well, let's look at Betzalel, who uh, it means in the shadow of God, Betzel El. Um, and here's what Rashi says about him. Rashi notes that Betzalel and Aholiav were endowed by God with wisdom, understanding, and knowledge to construct the tabernacle. This divine inspiration ensured that the work was not just craftsmanship, but a form of worship embodying God's design and purpose. It is said in the scripture that Betzalel was led by the Holy Spirit to do the things that he did, the craftsmanship that he did. But I would like to point out to us that just because God gives you a divine gift doesn't mean that you don't need to work at it. I have a natural talent for music. Music for me is like walking or breathing. It's just something natural that I do. But I've had to work very hard to get to the point where I am today. Just because you're given a divine gift or a talent from God that doesn't mean that you don't have to work at it. You are an actress. You have been for most of your life. And it doesn't mean just because you have a gift that you don't have to work at memorizing your lines or practicing what we call blocking, where you stand on the stage and different things. You still have to work at it. Yeah. So even though the Spirit gives us these divine abilities, we still need to do our part. And us putting in that effort is actually an act of worship. Yeah, because just because I memorize the lines and know where I can stand, there's a difference between that and practicing and practicing and trying all the different ways and making it be the absolute best production that I can give as opposed to just, well, she said the lines. I mean, you know, so there's a difference. <laughs> so do you think there'd be a difference in Betzalel making his own house and making God's house? Oh, for sure. I would imagine. Yeah. So I, I think if we're doing something for the Lord, it ought to be the best. It, it ought to be our maximum amount of effort. Now, a messianic perspective that we could take from Betzalel would be the empowerment of both of these men, Betzalel and Aholiav, by the Spirit of God can be seen as a precursor of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit 
that we see in Acts chapter 2 at Shavuot or Pentecost, equipping them with gifts for ministry and the building up of the congregation of the Messiah. Just as these craftsmen were called to be equipped or called and equipped for a specific task in the service of God, so we, as believers, we are called and gifted for certain works of service. As it says in Ephesians, good works that God prepared for us to do. And this is for the building up of the body, not for self-glorification. Coming back to teenagers, it is the belief of the ancient rabbis of Israel that Bezalel was 13 years old when he was tasked by God in the building of the tabernacle. There's something very interesting that we see here in the Talmud that I would like to read to you because I think it's very interesting. God told Moses, make a menorah of gold. And Moses said, how should it be made? And he was told that it should be hammered out of a solid block of gold, pure gold. Nonetheless, Moses found it difficult to understand. He couldn't really wrap his mind around how to really construct this menorah. So when he came down from Mount Sinai, he forgot how to make it. And so he went back up on the mountain and said, My master, how should it be made? To which God replied, It should be hammered out of a solid block. Again, Moses found it difficult to comprehend, and when he came down from the mountain, he forgot the details. So he went back up again a third time and said, My master, I have forgotten it. God showed him the process again, but he still found it difficult. God then said, Watch and do the same. And he took a menorah of fire and showed him how to make it. Yet Moses still could not understand. So God said to him, Go find Bezalel, and he can make it. And indeed, Moses asked Bezalel, and he immediately was able to make it. And Moses was astonished. He said, God showed it to me several times, yet I could not understand how to make it. Yet you, who never saw it, were able to make it on your own? Betzalel, you must have been standing Betzel El in the shadow of God when he showed me how to make the menorah. I think it's so interesting that here Moses is the one that is chosen to lead all the people, but he wasn't given every single gift to do every single job that the people of Israel had to do. Everyone had a specific task. Some people donated the gold, and then some people, like Betzalel, would take that gold and make it into the objects and instruments of worship for the tabernacle. It's okay that you have God-given abilities that are different than those around you. Whenever someone <laughs> says something to me about music, I have a joke that I always say, and that is, don't ask me to throw a football. I'm not an athlete. When I was a child, I could remember just wishing and praying that God would trade my musical ability for athletic ability. All of my friends were athletes, and in the place where I grew up, everyone played basketball. Well, I wasn't very good at basketball, and I was smaller than everyone, and so it made it even more difficult for me to, to play basketball. Everyone would always steal the ball from me or block my shots or things like that. I just wasn't built for that but I was built for music. Now, if I focus on the gifts that I don't have, I will never be appreciative of the gifts that I do have. And all of these things that we are given are supposed to fit together like a puzzle so that we all edify one another. This is something that's so important for us to remember, especially in a congregation. Not everyone will be the person that gets up and speaks. Yeah. Not everyone will be the person that helps the children. Recently, <laughs> we were, we're in the process of always looking for more help in our children's department in our congregation. And recently, you mentioned in public from the platform, don't volunteer to work with our children if you don't have a lot of patience. Yes. You have to be built. You have to have a special gift to work with children. It's almost like Moses being told over and over how to build the menorah and he just can't wrap his mind around it. There are some people that are built to work with children or teenagers, and there are others that are not. Um, they can just provide support for those that do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing less than about that. 
you're just as important if you're providing support for the ones who do it. You know, there's a wonderful gentleman that in our church helps set up supplies for us every Sunday morning for our worship service. He comes in, he sets up certain items, and and it's before anyone else gets there. And uh, the only way that we notice that he's done it is the things are set up for our worship service. But it's not like he he gets a lot of glory or or um, uh, fanfare for what he does. We know he's done it because it's been taken care of, and it's something that I never have to worry about. Now, I asked him recently if he would be willing to be a service host for us, to welcome the congregation and to tell them what the announcements were that day and just to to basically be a, a greeter for the congregation. And he said, oh, no, I would not be comfortable doing that. Now, this is a very friendly and outgoing person, so I was a little shocked when he said that he wouldn't be careful doing that. But what he told me was he is much more comfortable being behind the scenes, being someone that takes care of something and not a lot of eyes are on him. Not everyone is as comfortable as people like us at being in front of people. That is a gift that we have. Other people have different gifts. And if all of us are using our gifts for God's glory, doing the best that we can, like Betzalel and Aholiab did, they did the very best that they could. If we're all doing our best and we're doing it for God's glory, then the whole collective body is going to be blessed. The whole collective body is going to be better for it. So do the things that God has called you to do and do the very best that you can. My grandfather, may his memory be blessed, had this little rhyme that he would say. It rhymes in English. Uh, It probably doesn't in your language, but I will say it in, in English. Good, better, best. Never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best. You know, there's nothing wrong with taking a bit of pride in what you do, as long as it's a godly pride, if you're doing it for God's glory. Betzalel making this menorah He had to do the very, very best. It was for God's house. It's where God's physical presence was going to dwell. Like I said, he probably did a a better job on, on God's house than he did his own house. This was certainly true with King Solomon when he said, I have this beautiful palace, this beautiful house. How can God live in a tent? I need to build him a temple that is worthy of his presence, something that is more beautiful than my own house. I think that's the right attitude. I hope this has been a blessing to you this week. And I pray that you find that talent that God has for you. Maybe even something that you have uh, been sleeping on for the last few years. Maybe something that you haven't done in a while, but God gave you a gift. Bring that gift out. Dust off that talent that God gave you and work at it. Practice it. Just as Kara does in a play, memorize your lines. Memorize where you need to be on the stage and make that performance the best that you can because it is one for God's glory and it's one that will bring him the fame and the honor and not yourself. Let's all be like Betzalel and be in the shadow of God. Thank you for joining us this week. Shalom and Kol Tuv.